spent last night in Reed, California. Look at that. Look at that mountain. Mount Shasta. Isn't that gorgeous? We spent the night at Friendly RV. It's the name of the RV park. And uh, we got a pull through. But there's one little problem with their pull throughs. Okay, here's our trailer. See? We're loading up, getting ready to leave. But it's a pull through. And then the second part goes right behind you. And yesterday they had us over in the next spot behind another trailer. We're like, well, how do we get out of here? Oh, you just wait until the guy leaves in the morning and then you can leave then. And I'm like, are you serious? We're pinned in? So we had to have him move us because we had to go to the post office. Pretty close to a gas station and eating places over there. We could have walked to get something to eat, but we had to go to the to the post office. So we had to move us to a top spot, but then, then there's no room for your truck. You have to pull all the way up or you can't hook up your trailer because the hookups are all the way up in front and the hookups won't reach if you're all the way back on your line, which is where you could park your truck, but you can't. So you trucks up there and then they yell at you about where your truck is at <laughs> okay so anyhow we only stayed here one night and uh, now we're leaving kind of glad to be leaving getting on the road we're going to uh, Canyonville yeah Sophie was happy because she's got grass again this is like a rare thing for her. She's been six months with no grass. So she's a happy girl. The window fell out on Mike's canopy. Well, it's in there, but he can't get to it because of all this stuff. So for now, he just taped it up in case we, uh, in case we run into any rain on the way. So yeah, we're gonna look kind of ghetto maybe for a few days. We'll see. Glad to leave this place. This is an okay place for overnight but boy I sure wouldn't want to stay here but it had good Wi-Fi okay <laughs> the Wi-Fi was good there we go on our way to Canyonville I'm kind of excited to stay in Canyonville I haven't stayed there my grandpa used to live there back in the 70s so let's go see what it looks like now there's a nice view of Mount Shasta. Pretty, right? We're kind of out of the trees again, so. Headed for the Siskiyous. Yep, yeah, we're headed for the Siskiyous now. But, uh, yeah, nice country, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Got some hills to climb. Made it to the top of the Siskiyous. Now we got a seven mile downgrade. I don't like climbing big mountains. I don't like going down big mountains either. Oh, seven miles? Yeah, seven miles. So, uh, eh, at least we're going down this time, but we're in Oregon. We made it all the way to Oregon. down there. Had to stop Mike. He had a big piece of fuzz on his face. I didn't save him the embarrassment. But, uh, yeah. We're here. This is, um, Seven Cedars RV Park in Canyonville, Oregon. Mike's gonna go check us in. Sophie was getting a little restless, I think. Sophie, what's wrong, baby? I think that she has to go potty. So, yeah, hopefully it don't take too long to get us checked in. We're here early. It's only like 1.30. That's kind of nice. I'll show you our spot. Yeah, so this is the laundry room. Not bad, right? A little table. It's a pretty nice park. Yeah, we're liking here. It's, it's a lot bigger than this. I'll show you the rest. First, I gotta show you these bathrooms. When 
wonder who that is. Yep, training him white. What are you doing, Mike? I'm uh, getting your steamy clothes out of the wash. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Yeah, so this is this is the shower. Um, each each shower has its own private private shower, private mirror, private toilet. You have your own room. So a lot of these places we've been going to, they uh, <laughs> you're lucky you just got that little curtain and that's it. You're taking a shower with everybody, you got a curtain. But no, nope, out here, I have my own door and I can lock it and nobody can come in. And oh my gosh, somebody turned the heater up in here full blast. It's pretty nice. Did you hear me fall down? Oh my gosh, I fell down. And I come back and here's the baby in the doorway. Oh, so I'll yeah, be back. these are true pull throughs, not like that place in weed where they just stack you back to back with everybody. <laughs> but uh, also, I I'm okay from my fall. I uh, wasn't watching where I was going and I don't know, walked off of that flop to the ground. <laughs> I was going to show you Sophie how excited she was waiting for me, but yeah, we got to go to town, do the post office stuff, and then oh, I'll show you the swimming pool today. It's indoor. And a workout room, too. Show you the pool. Indoor. Ooh, gee, it's nice and warm in here. It's warm in here, huh? It's warm. This is the fitness room. Here's a rare sight. <laughs> they have a nice walking trail. It's along the um creek and here you can have like big barbecues but a little trail along the creek you can hear the water down here there's Mike and Sophie it's a little chilly today sun's trying to come out it's not warm like Arizona that's for sure so for those of you that want to have a a fire oh, wood right there. look at here's the fire pit Two of them. Yeah, three pits. Oh, sorry, three, but there's no, nothing around that one. But here's your wood. I guess you gotta have the RV light the fire for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, look at. You wanna have a fire? Bring the family down to the fire pit. And then it's right across from the swimming pool and the workout room. I'm gonna show you the creek too. Yep, for those of you that want to go fishing, this must be what they have here. They have another bathroom, laundry room area down here, showers. And if you got kids, look at they got a playground for the kids. It looks pretty nice. Here's the bridge. It goes to the other part of the RB park. And here's the creek down here. Look at is that pretty or what? I don't know if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it on here, but it's very nice. Better not drop my phone, huh? <laughs> Mike, you need to pick up Sophie so she can see the water. Nice. What do you think, Sophie? Just want to take your picture. Yeah, so so overall, yeah, this is a pretty nice park. 
check in. It's up there in front. Remember I showed you that yesterday. But yeah. Yeah, we like this park. Nice. Pretty nice. One more one more night here. They got the shuttle that takes you to the casino and we go get the nine ninety nine all you can eat buffet dinner. You can't beat that price. And no taxes in Oregon either, so it's nine ninety nine. Um, all you can eat. So we're gonna go take the shuttle bus. Get yourself a player's card and you get they have their own gas station. You get three cents off a gallon. <laughs> yep. And uh Yeah, it, it's a pretty nice casino too. It's okay. Yeah, you hear that do you hear that gun going off? There must be a firing range because we keep hearing people shooting, so <laughs> we just hope we don't get no stray ones in the park. I'm sure they're facing the other way. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Anyhow, we're still here. Oh, this is the machine to play if you go to Canyonville, right here. Okay. On the road again. We're ready. It's gonna be a short drive today. There he goes. It's kind of pretty through here. All these trees and stuff. So we're on our way to the ocean. Oregon coast. Oh, Oregon coast. We're going to stay there for a few days in Florence. So we're taking some, some path off the freeway. <laughs> We haven't never been on this road before. This is something new for us. A little grindy, but you know, slow going, but we're sure in no rush to get there. It's one thing about being retired and living in your RV, you don't have to be in a rush going anywhere. You know, just take time to get there, and when you get there, you're there. <laughs> yep. So, yeah, just kind of a little relaxing drive for us. I was going to show you that big river down here but uh, the trees are kind of in the way now. Oh there's somebody in a huge brush. <laughs> Anyhow <laughs> there's a big river down there you just can't see it too good. So it's pretty. Yeah I don't know what it is. Driving along the river. That's one thing that we missed well besides our family of course in Arizona, we missed water. There just was, we never did find any water in Arizona. I know they gotta have lakes or something there, you would think, but uh, up north, up here, there's water all over the place. We got the ocean, we got the sound, we got lakes, we got rivers. And so, yeah, we missed that, but you know, like I said, we do live in the rainforest, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> the price you pay. Yeah, so we've arrived. It's uh, it's pouring down rain. We are going to have to set up camp in the pouring down rain. I, I gotta find my coat. We're gonna get soaked. <sighs> I'll show you what this place looks like when I get an idea. I don't know where we're going. But we're here for the day. Yeah, so this is the Thousand Trails in Florence. It's nothing but a mud pit. They told us there was three sites open. They're not. They're full. Everything's closed down for, I don't know, work they're going to do to it. It's nothing but a mud pit in and they here. And they didn't even have it on the, on the website. They didn't say nothing about work being done. A lot of the sites are closed. A lot of the full... Full service sites are closed. It's this is easily one of the worst RV parks we've ever been to, ever. <laughs> oh my gosh! So we're out. Some I don't know. We're just gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do now. Little windy, muddy roads. Yeah, I don't know how to get out of here. We're leaving. 
we're out of here. So we got lucky and got a spot here. Much nicer, much nicer park than <laughs> where we came from. Here we are. We have our awnings out, so I guess if we need to go outside, we can sit under there. But it's it's not it's not a mud pit here. So this one better to you, Mike? Yes, it's better. We got cable and Wi-Fi. I'll take a run around this park on the way out. Yeah, yeah. So we get free free Wi-Fi, free cable. And you pay for two nights, and you get one we're night, free. one night free. So we were gonna stay here for three nights or four nights at the other place, but we're gonna stay here three nights, and from there go on up to the Washington coast. But yeah, th this is an okay park. I mean, it's not, it's not no fancy resort, or whatever. But you know, yeah. it's better than a thousand trails we're at. And yeah, we stopped at another place, and it was a concrete pad just side by side and yeah the other they place wanted, they uh, this place costed three dollars more than what the other junk place was <laughs> junk yeah so I'm so, happy yeah so now we're going to find the um post, post office, office. Post and then office. see what kind of food we can find too so okay we're here